rule number four is specific to this book, which is to keep the geometry, controls, and skeletons in separate groups in the outliner. And let's take a look at what that looks like. Here's your controls. And you can see that's only controls. If I open that up, only controls in there. It's beautiful. The skeleton, just the joints, nothing hidden underneath there. It's beautiful, nice and clean. And then the geometry. And we can even look and see there's our blend shapes in there, nicely labeled and everything. And the reason for this is that you can now easily go in, find the geometry, and swap it out, work with just the controls. It's, it's highly maintainable. Um, you can see the same methodology in Art of Rigging. I've seen it there, um, and I don't know of any other books that has it. It's just a nice, clean method that you can use. Now, because of that, you will find that our controls must be hooked up via constraints generally. Um, otherwise, it doesn't work. And you see we have orient constraints and parent constraints going on. Um, versus if you have these as parents in the hierarchy, uh, which is a method that you'll see in other books that uh, don't come from production. Oh, student version, teacher version as well. OK. So geos, skeletons, controls, and all packaged up under a group node there. The reason being you can now export this nice and neat and bring it into other scenes so that you could have duplicates. You could have more than one Medusa. Fighting Medusas, maybe. Oops. Small Medusas and little Medusas. A whole family of Medusas. <laughs>